Before I jump out the window, I should probably put back on my tech armor. Alrighty. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have any element on me. <laughs> no. Finally, we're breeding Therizinos. Yes. I've wanted to do this for such a long time, and I've wanted to use Therizinos as a massive army for a long time as well. One thing I actually never noticed about them is how off is that little, like, you know, the little name tag on the babies. It's like super far off to the side. I never realized that. Technically, this one's inventory is like right over here, which is just weird. I don't even understand. Get better. Anyway, so uh, we got another one over here. Oh, hey, you've got a mutation. Hello. Although we don't even need you. So goodbye. Sorry about you. Yeah, bye. <laughs> So, uh, there's left. There's you know, mutations. Um, let me let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what we got going on over here, cause it's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited for this. So, uh, first of all, guys, go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. I know everybody really loves the mutation videos, and I haven't actually done one in a little while, to be honest. So, I wanted to come back, and I wanted to come back strong with something crazy, and that's what we're gonna be doing here today. So, we have our perfect female right here. So. This is a bunch of wild stats combined, and really all the, the only stats that I actually cared about when I was trying to tame a bunch of Therizinos was health and melee. So our stamina is good, it's just not amazing, but I also didn't really care about it too much. Like, I'm fine with that. I, I really, I, I probably wouldn't even really need any extra stamina, because the one I'm going to be riding on, I can pump one or two levels in, but all the other ones, it doesn't even matter, and it just increases their level. Anyway, so on health, we have an incredible over 9,000 health. <laughs> Cue all of the Dragon Ball memes right there. Uh, and then down here, we have uh, 425 on the melee, which is just insane. I really was so impressed to see, to see this melee stat. I actually, I think the highest before that I had was like 389 or something like that. And then I got this, and I was like, oh my god. I could probably get higher, but I mean, I just have to settle with that. That's a really good stat. One thing I really gotta, I gotta say is this is super annoying. Um, the babies are hatching out, out over here without any air conditioners or anything. It's just really irritating. Uh, so I have to constantly be killing them over here. I might have to actually just pop them inside of a pen somewhere, maybe up there or something. I don't even know. But um, I've already actually got the first uh, mutation on the two stats that we're looking at. We got a melee mutation right here and wait no this is the health mutation sorry and uh the original health which we can see from this one was 9048 so we basically went up by around 350 on the health per level so per mutation we're gonna get around 350 so if i get 10 mutations it's gonna be 3500 onto the base stat before imprinting so that's that's incredible uh and then on the melee we start out with 425 and that goes up by around 12 ish is it 12.5 eh, it's basically just under 12 i guess uh so it goes up by pretty much like 12 per mutation as well so uh again if we got around 10 that would be 120 on top which would make it around like 550 ish uh so pretty impressive i mean these things are gonna be crazy i do want to use therizinos inside of the tech cave uh oh my god we got another mutation already wow that's a nice one actually let's see oh pity your poop uh i'll just go ahead and kill you <laughs> oh man um but yeah so i want to use therizinos inside of the tech cave so that's what we're doing right now we're just building our army for the tech cave because like i've mentioned before on episode 149 and then 150, I want to do the tech cave and then the overseer fight. And then I've got something special planned for after, which, oh man, you guys are going to love. I know fans of the channel and fans of ARK will really love this. I don't know if I'm going to completely love it. I think that could probably hint at what I'm actually going to be doing, but I'm not going to talk too much more about that because I don't actually want to hint that and maybe I shouldn't have even just said that a minute ago. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to be working on this for a good while. I think I might also just slot in the last of the Genesis Chronicles notes inside of this video as well. So if you guys are interested in that, that's going to be in here too. Oh, wow. We got the same melee mutation, except this one actually has some nice, some nice colors. Hmm. I don't really want to wait for this one to grow up though, because that one's already grown up by like 30% or something. Oh, so here's what I'm going to be doing, by the way. Uh, I'm, oh my God, <laughs> I never even noticed how horrifying this little cluster of them is what i'm actually planning on doing is i'm actually collecting up more female perfect females right here because i want to actually have the two mutations going at the same time and i'm just going to stack the same mutations into the same stack so we're going to have a melee stack and we're going to have a health stack and i think my my plan is to go to at least 
10 on each of them, but probably higher. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, I didn't bring you guys back much. Well, I did, but I'm probably not even going to use that footage. It's, meh, it's whatever. So, right here, I have just gotten the final mutation on the health uh, stack. At least for now. We're probably going to go further with this stuff, but... This is going to be the 10th mutation on the health stack, and I've already got my 10 melee. It actually took me a lot longer to get the health ones for some reason. I don't know. I guess I was having, like, really bad luck with the health ones. But, uh, yeah, here it is. So, what did it go from again? I think it went from, like, 9... 9,048, if I remember correctly, up to 12,000... Uh, 528 so that is a huge boost onto this that is incredible uh, obviously this one only has health mutations uh, I can show you guys the melee one here in a second um, there's the family tree if you're interested um, and oh yeah let me let me show you the best part this is the best part about stacking clean stack only on one side you know the 10 mutations stacked into one side it's perfect Oh, it feels good. It feels great to get a creature like that. And then I can simply just continue to breed this one if I want to. Well, I will eventually, but here, let me show you. So let's get up here really quick, and I got to show you guys the melee stack. Um, So that one back there is a male, which is perfect. But if I'm going to combine those two, I need one of them to be a female. So uh, what we're probably going to do is, here is the melee stack. Probably going to breed this one here and try to get a... Uh, like a female version of this with the exact same uh like 10 mutation stack or whatever and we went up from 425 up to 543 so incredible just super awesome and here is the family tree so obviously when i breed this with a clean creature it will all stack onto one side and then when i breed the two together it will be 10 and 10 and yeah that's awesome and if i want to i could probably just go ahead and breed that with a clean creature and just get the 20 on one side but it really doesn't matter so much but what does matter is uh colors i'm actually probably gonna be happy to get maybe like this blue here i don't know if you guys really took notice of that one down there you know what we're gonna need to get it up here anyway so let's go ahead and just run down and grab it so we're gonna probably keep the majority of the colors on this one and maybe try to ditch that yellow for that blue that we have back there um i don't really mind i think we have the red in the same spot right either one of those reds that blue the cyan and the light gray i think that's gonna look really amazing but we gotta do a huge amount of work before we can even get that i'm gonna just put you on mating because i probably should have already done that and you can sit over here with your future lovers um so yeah guys uh We'll be back in a little bit when we actually have the two, like, may or what are they called? The two uh, stacks. Um, here, let me, are you okay? Yeah, you're good. So, yeah, we'll be back in a bit once we have the, the two stacks into one creature. And then what we can do with that is we can either make another one and then just continuously breed those or just breed that with the perfect females here, which I'll probably not do. I think I'll make two of them and just make it easier myself. So, yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so let's just dump out a bunch of giga eggs here. <laughs> we have our Therizino, by the way. This is the color combination, which is looking really dope. I feel like that actually might be white on the back and not like a gray like I thought it was. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, all right, we're kind of glitching around here a little bit because... Oh, my... Okay. All right, that's... That's a lot of levels. Um, bam! <laughs> Basically, we're glitching around because the server doesn't realize that I uh, I technically have more weight than uh, than I thought I did. Let's see. Let's pop out these eggs. That's basically like a, a bit of a, a bug to do with imprinting and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't update unless you deload the area, crowd pot the creature, drop it out, or level it, or upload it as well, I guess. Um, yeah, lots of different things that could fix it, but... Yeah, essentially, you just need to do that once you imprint. Uh, let me go ahead and just harvest him. I just kind of wanted to see what these things would be like fully leveled. Um, I can't eat that one or not eat that one, but I can't chop it up into little bits. Can we get out of there? There we go. All right, cool. So let's see. Do we have any more? Okay, 54 levels is good from, for the moment, I think. Uh, I will probably try to level it a little bit more. Technically, it's 55 because I already pumped one in. Now, what should I have on these Therizinos, you're asking? I know you didn't ask that, but I'm asking it. Um, I'm thinking... Let's see. If we went up to, like, 30k health, that's good. 
but I feel like we're gonna need a lot more. How much damage do we actually do, by the way? Let me go ahead and quickly just grab a couple more baby giga eggs. Um, all right, that, that's enough for the moment. Oh, no, 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 he's following me. Ooh, oh, wait, no, he's still on freaking wander. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just drop one of these guys out. So currently we do, wait for it. We do 584 damage per swipe. Okay, cool. 584. That's a good amount. I feel like they're not as powerful as I thought they would be. Hmm. Let's get this up to 40k at minimum. I think that's a good amount. Now, herbivores can take less damage from fire than carnivores can. So, therizinos are the ideal creature to fight the dragon with. Either that or, or rhinos as well, I guess, could be useful too. Um, let's see. Now we do 800 and... 22. Also, a great thing about their Xenos and boss fights is that they are smaller, which is honestly, it, it just, it really helps out. It means that they can move around a lot easier. You can maneuver them around a lot easier and you can actually pretty much almost get all the creatures into like a bundle and they can mostly all hit the, the boss or whatever you're actually fighting without trying to completely surround the boss. Um, unfor unfortunately, with the Therizinos, you usually cannot actually trap the bosses, at least in my experience, but um, I feel like I feel like this is going to be good. This is going to be a great uh, army creature. Let's see. Come on. How much do we do now? Okay, you know what? It's not an insane amount of damage. Also, that is not mate boosted, by the way. Um, that's another thing to note. So, not mate boosted, and we're doing like 800 and something something. What were we doing exactly? Let's get another level here. Also, we, we've already got it. Okay, so 892. All right, cool. Hmm. Should I go up to 50k health? I feel like that might be way too much. I feel like a good amount of health for these guys would probably be 40k because I can actually give them veggie cakes, which means they can heal pretty quick, pretty well. Um, so maybe 40k health and then we could probably just pump everything into melee after that, I would imagine. But yeah, I want to I wanna test one of these guys out just out in the world a little bit. So I think maybe this one's just going to be the main Therizino that I use. I'm most likely not going to use a Therizino myself inside of the boss fight because I'm going to be using a Uteranus, which is another thing to bear in mind. When I am in boss fights, I will be using a Uteranus. So mate boost plus Uteranus boost plus uh, or I guess minus the imprint uh, boost because obviously, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just quickly take that off. I'm just going to get this Therizino to hit something without me riding on it. Let's see. So give me egg and then let's get in here. It's super framey down here, man. My base is just ridiculous. I love my base, but man, I, I feel like I regret making it because it's just, it's just too aggressive on the frames. All right. So they do. Okay. 693 is a good amount. Plus mate boost, which is, what is that again? I think it's like 20% extra or something. Um, so that's going to be good. And then on top of that, we have Uteranus boost. So they should at least round off with around a thousand damage per hit, provided they use the claws because the, the beak attack is, uh, is a little bit less. I think that was like 500 damage. So yeah, these Therizinos will be boss. I mean, they will be boss and they will kill bosses. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's going to be good. I think it's, it's definitely enough for the moment. Um, eventually I will, of course... Do some more uh, mutation stacking. Uh, oh, you know what? You guys are still breeding, right? Okay, good. Just making sure because uh, these are the mama and papa of the army. Uh, they were actually twins and everything, which is great. But um, these guys are pretty much just pooping out eggs and they kind of have like a bit of a messed up mutation thing, but that's okay because I still have my clean lines up there. Well, actually, technically they're inside of cryopods now, which is great. Um, so I'm going to trick those away safe, uh, safely up inside the base. But... Um, yeah, so these guys are going to be pooping out tons of eggs. We're going to do some hatching at some point. Um, and then I'm going to probably build up the massive army that I want for the Overseer and probably a couple more bosses because I, I think I want to test these guys out before I take them through the tech cave for sure. And also in the tech cave, using Therizinos is definitely going to be amazing because, oh man, like they, they're going to be so easy to get into the tech cave because obviously they're way smaller than a Rex, but also they're going to be way easier to get around the tech cave because their turning radius is not as bad as the Rex. So here's their turning radius right here. 
Whereas a Rex, are you going to come for me? There you go. It's almost like a complete just, you know, 180 there. Instead of like the Rex is one which just like marches out here and then turns around. So yeah, these things are going to be absolutely fantastic inside of there. And hopefully we won't lose a bunch of them down into the lava. So I don't know if I'm going to bring like a full 50. I feel like that would be dumb. Maybe I think going through the tech cave because we can bring uh, 20 into the overseer fight. Um, I think I'm going to be riding on my Uteranus, of course. Uh, I'll probably have a couple pocket creatures, like creatures and cryopods that I can use, because apparently you can actually drop things out of cryopods inside the Overseer Arena, which is ridiculous. And I think it should not be a thing, <laughs> but whatever. So I might have like a pocket Giga or a couple like other creatures or something like that. Um, and then, yeah, just maybe like 30 Therizinos. So we have a couple that we can lose during the tech cave, which will probably happen considering the fact that there's Gigas and like just so many bad things in there. The only thing about Therizinos is that if I was to ride on one, I'm pretty sure a, like a Prolavia could easily get me off of the back of it, uh, which would be very bad. And plus, when you dismount a Therizino, it throws you off to the side, which is bad. Um, whereas if you're on a Rex or something different like that, you usually just stay sitting or standing on top of the, the creature. And that's the type of creature that you want to be riding. If you're riding on a creature that throws you off to the side, oh, you're going to be in a pickle because then you're just going to get swarmed by tons of creatures. So not a good, not a good thing to be riding on in terms of uh, creatures inside the tech cave. So yeah, I'll probably have like an army of like 30 of them going through there. But at some point, I definitely want to bring these guys into the dragon arena on the island and maybe do all that goodness. But um. I'm going to have to heal this thing and enjoy some Genesis Chronicle notes. The background levels of Element are way higher on this arc. I wonder whether that was part of the plan, to see what you survivors would do with Element if you had access to it. Or maybe, maybe it's the reverse. The plan was to see what Element would do if it had access to survivors. <laughs> That's the thing about Element. It adapts to whatever it's in contact with. If you aren't careful, Element can corrupt you. But I know you'll be careful. After all, we made it this far, eh? When things got really bad on Earth, wars, Element corruption, all sorts of troubles. Humans thought of all sorts of ways to escape. One way to escape was Homo Deus, another step in human evolution. Another way, from a certain point of view, was these arcs. And the Genesis simulation was another escape plan. You survivors, though, you're made of tougher stuff. You adapt and endure rather than running away. I wonder whether there are no humans anywhere on Earth anymore. Other than you survivors, of course. No sign of them anywhere on my scanners. Earth's a big place, of course, but you'd think there'd be radio signals or something to let us know we aren't the last ones on Earth. And if there are no more humans, where'd they all go? Did they do each other in, or did the Titans get them? With all you humans accomplished, you'd think there'd be a remnant out there somewhere. We're pioneers, but we aren't the first survivors to get back to Earth. Years ago, a few survivors got back. One of whom was Helena, the survivor who made me. They saw the same devastation you're seeing right now, and they sought their own way to escape. For Helena, that meant ascending and becoming Homo Deus, an NGB beyond our reality. For her friends, it meant a long journey to a place called Arik Prime, where they figured out a way to beam Helena into the Genesis simulation. And then she made me. Once Helena's friends beamed her into the Genesis simulation, she made me. But then she left. I guess Homo Deus beings can't stay in our reality, or the simulation, for very long. She gave me basic access to the simulation, but not a lot of guidance beyond that. But I'm watching you. I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to do. Help you out as a companion and friend. Just like Helena helped her friends, and her friends helped her. Together, we're going to master the Genesis simulation and pass every test they give us. So that was the end of the Genesis Chronicles. There's only 15 notes in total, and I've done this over a couple different videos. I've never really dedicated full videos to specifically these bits, but 
Uh, I'm sure you can find other videos that are helpful on that. I do believe that Jim has actually done a bunch of videos on that stuff. But anyway, what do you guys think about all that stuff? Honestly, it really hypes me up for Genesis when we see these different little explore notes, the way that they're actually done and everything. Um, I honestly believe that the creature dossiers in Genesis are all going to be based on the Helena bot talking to you. And I've been calling that for months. We'll wait and see if I'm right. Anyway, here is the full skin and it is looking very, very nice. I know this is probably extremely new to everybody, but this is new to me. This is the first time I'm fully seeing the whole set and it looks dope. It really does. Uh, probably not really something I would rock all the time, but I don't know. I, I like it. I think it looks really cool. Uh, I also went ahead and actually painted up a set as well. And this is what I kind of got. And I think this looks quite nice as well. I like the red. I like the cyan. And it's pretty much just red and cyan. I probably could have put some green in as well, but it's kind of hard to tell what everything is in terms of the color regions. But um, let's go ahead and quickly check out the explore note pages let me just go ahead and mute that audio track for me so i don't have to listen to her again um so the actual pages themselves don't really have like a huge amount of uh like detail and stuff like some of the previous ones actually had like little cool pictures and stuff but this one's not as cool um let's go to the next one one of them has like a really cool image though let's see so note 12 um this is the one. Oh yes yeah so you can over here you can see an overseer and then over here i don't know what that is to be honest maybe it's another overseer or something else i'm not even sure and then the very center you can see a homodeus uh which is honestly amazing looking that looks crazy uh so obviously we don't exactly know who that is and i really doubt that's helena but yeah that is really cool there's nothing else on this note really um just a couple little bits in the corners but i do believe that's on every single one let's go to the next uh number 13 let's see i think this is the one with the explosion right yeah there we go so we have like a, a just a crap ton of explosions here uh and that's pretty much it uh obviously you know this is i guess representing the war that was on earth um just before they realized that they destroyed the earth um let's go to note 14 let's see what's on this one again oh yeah this looks like uh helena going or is this us i can't even tell to be honest uh but yeah it looks as if somebody's ascending into homodeus form or something here i'm not sure yeah not really sure what that is or maybe it's just like a teleporter or something but uh very very cool very nice let's go to the last one and that would be over this side so on this one, yeah, this one's basically just a bunch of bits uh, being put together to actually assemble um, HLNA or Helena Bot, as I always call her. Uh, but yeah, you can just see like a bunch of different components that are being used to craft her. Uh, she's being put together there. And then, you know, there's a little bit more here. It's pretty cool, actually. I, I like this one, but um, not a huge amount of like cool details in this set of notes. Uh, compared to the last set, there was one that actually had a picture of the magma saur, which was cool. I'm not sure which one that was, though, and I really don't want to go through all of them. But, um, yeah, that was awesome. Let me turn back on that audio track. Uh, so, we're going to be taking the Therizino out for a spin now. Let me just do this. Um, hmm. Let me actually just cryopod it. Let's just get it out of the base first. And, like, bring it across uh, the way, maybe to the volcano area. And then we can maybe take a look at it. Uh, ooh, before I jump out the window, I should probably put back on my tech armor. That would be a great idea, just in case. Uh, this one, and then which pair of shoes was I using? This one. Alrighty. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have any element on me. No. I'm not gonna die though. Oh my god. Wait, what health am I on? Eight health. Oh my god. Alright. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> Oh, you can't bring element through an obelisk. So every single time I go or uh, come back, I have to drop it off or pick it up. And uh, I forgot to pick it back up. So let me go ahead and do that and heal and wait for my cryo sickness thing to go. And then we'll be off and testing out this Therizino. So let's check out the Therizino then. Let me see. We got some Brontos over here. We can just shred through all these guys. Oh, man. So, I'm really excited to actually get going with the whole Therizino army thing, man. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I haven't used a Therizino army in quite some time. We did it in our Series 4. Um, and that was... Oh, God. That must have been like two years ago now at this stage. I think? I don't even know, actually. That was a long time ago. At least it feels like that. 
but um yeah we've definitely been holding off on doing a bunch of armies on here but i think that's what we're going to be doing here a lot soon i uh i want this army i want to start working on my rex army finally and to be honest i've been taming a couple tech rexes and i'm getting some okay -ish stats and i might end up using those instead of normal rexes we'll see um but yeah i don't know we'll, we'll see what we end up using in the end because if i can get better stats with normal rexes which is arguably better because i can just you know i can tame those a lot easier there's a lot of high level rexes around not so many high level tech rexes around so it's kind of hard to find some really good ones of those but um i don't know we'll, we'll definitely see what I, I you know what i was about to say like what would you guys like to see but i know people are just gonna say tech rexes so maybe i'll hold off and, and wait till we actually have that stuff i never realized this is like a bronto uh skeleton here that is cool never even noticed that before i mean i noticed the rib cage just never noticed the head and like the uh the neck pieces cool all right well uh yeah so we have a rex army that we got to be doing we have our spinal army already uh we have a megatherium army we've done that what else have we not done what other creatures are good for bosses oh you know what i wanted to actually do the uh the aloe army and we've already got all those guys pretty much bred up and everything we just got to go ahead and just mass produce them so that could be a thing at some point as well we shall see uh what other creatures are good for armies though um i i want to actually get into some rhino stuff at some point you know what like we're so far through the series already like this is episode 144 i think you know it's such a high norm it's such a high number at this stage that i can hardly even just remember it off the top of my head i think this is 144 though um so yeah we're just like we've done so many videos on here and i still feel like there's just so much i need to be doing we haven't even touched on any of the king titan stuff but uh one thing that i've been holding off on doing is the king titan because i don't want to actually do that without originally or i guess previously doing the um the overseer on the island because we get a new implant when we do the overseer and then once we do the king titan we lose our implant completely like i mean we're gonna have a thing in our inventory but we're not gonna have an implant in our wrist anymore and i wanted to at least rock the island plus aberration implant for a little while because currently this is what we've got oh my guy is on aggressive i don't oh you know he might be actually huh uh but yeah this is the one that we have right now uh oh you can't even see it what's a good way to show this ah! no <laughs> okay we're good what's a good way to show this though uh what freaking weapon or something can i use oh yeah yeah like a rifle there we go so you can see we have like a normal implant with just the little aberrant glow above it which is cool but yeah we definitely need to uh to rock the aberration plus the island one for a little while i think it's orange once you get the two of them because it's red below and then kind of yellowy and i think that makes an orange color can't remember anyway so i want to do that at some point and then maybe in a little while we'll start we'll start getting into like the king titan stuff um we gotta fight it in gamma beta and alpha form so lots of stuff to do there um and then obviously once we've done that we can actually start getting some of the really really high tier s plus items which is something i'm looking forward to for sure but another thing to note that we can do after we fight the overseer on the island is that oh man we're gonna be able to go ahead and get ourselves um max level crafting skill items and that is really exciting because we have we have pretty good stuff here this is my shotgun right now not bad at all considering um but we can get better we can definitely get better which is awesome and i can't wait to do that so another thing i want to be doing is uh just a ton of crafting skills type stuff because i have lots of cool ideas and um yeah i'm not gonna spoil them all right now we'll get to them we'll get to them at some stage but um i know a couple people have noticed that the cluster videos have been a little lacking in the last while and that's mainly because i'm working on some other stuff and uh, i'm just trying to kind of you know make the cluster videos a bit of a centerpiece episode instead of like something that will just you know come out like several times a week and just have one little thing be done or whatever i don't know i want to do like a lot of stuff in these in these cluster videos because i feel like it's my favorite series hands down but i feel like uh i don't know i want the series to like just be bigger and better than anything i've done before so that's the main reason why there's not that many of them it's not because i'm uninterested or whatever but um yeah this freaking therizino is awesome uh these guys are gonna work really well against the dragon 
overseer everything i mean anything that takes me on is probably gonna die to these things because my god this thing is awesome um but i think that's probably gonna be it for today i feel like i have a lot of footage for this video and it might end up being super long i can't really roughly say right now but i think we're gonna end it off here guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and uh yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one